So welcome back to my channel, that 10 millimeter socket. We are now working on the same shit box that I had to redo the timing because we didn't have the timing cover, the plate, the mark in the back was plastic and it cracked. So the timing was off by a tooth, but we fixed that, we put a new timing cover in, but then we figured out, as soon as we were about to top off the bullet, there was milky stuff as you can tell in the coolant so we were having oil and coolant mix inside the car which was going to be a huge problem because then the coolant would probably start eating up the bearings and all that other stuff and probably hydro lock the motor but as you can tell down there that's all milky milk coming from the oil cooler housing well oil well, the port but this is the old oil cooler housing over here and that one had milk coming out of there because the oil cooler, well, the oil filter housing, because the oil cooler failed. So, right over there, there was a bunch of milk coming out. It was gross. And it was starting to mix with the oil because it was losing oil. And I was trying to figure out why. But that's what happens when you work on Audis and Volkswagens. These oil coolers do not fail on a regular, only maybe once in a while. Never seen them fail a lot, but what does fail a lot are these oil cooler houses, oil filter houses, because the gaskets start taking a crap or these uh, roof areas start to crack and start leaking out oil and cooling. So that's usually the issue. And he was also having oil pressure like coming on for some reason that I can explain why. But um, yeah, it's probably mixing with the coolant and throwing off a false coat or false pressure readings. So, there we go. Common issue. And uh, we're now fixing it with a brand new oil cooler from Europa Parts in New Jersey. Brand new oil cooler. Brand new oil filter housing. It should come with the filter, I haven't checked yet, but we're gonna put this back together. And well, welcome back to the channel. We have the car all put back together now with the new filter housing and the new oil cooler. Now we have it warming up because last time it was a pain in the ass to warm up. You can tell there's still oil and gunk in the system. It has to be flushed later on with a hose and water, but it needs to car tomorrow, so we're just going to get this done quick. And then probably in the next two weeks, when we have time, we're going to flush this thing out right with fresh coolant. It should be good to go. Uh, sorry, I don't have my camera equipment today. I can film everything going back together, but you know, this is how it goes in the game. Sorry, but um, if this video looks somewhat helpful because I didn't record anything, I just told you what's wrong with it. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you.